Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is August Patch Day. Before I start, let me apologize for not posting many videos last week. I was attending an off-site meeting, so simply didn't have time. To start with this week's Daily Security Bite, I wanted to cover one of the stories I missed from last week. It's a rather regular and dull story, but one that's very practical to Microsoft administrators, and that's Microsoft Patch Day. Last week was both Microsoft and Adobe's regular monthly patch day. Let's start with Microsoft. Microsoft released updates for just under 50 vulnerabilities that affect a wide array of their products, including many of their operating systems and both their browsers, Internet Explorer and the Edge browser. Two of the noteworthy vulnerabilities were a critical vulnerability in the Windows search function. Basically, attackers with uh, access to a Windows machine can gain full system privilege by leveraging this vulnerability. There's also a vulnerability in how Microsoft parses or handles certain database files. If a bad guy could send you such a file, maybe in a spear phishing email, if your users open the file, it could uh, result in remote code execution. In either case, last week's patch day fixes a number of other vulnerabilities in their popular operating system and browser, many of them critical, and many of them that could allow remote code execution. So if you're a Microsoft administrator, be sure to go get those updates as soon as possible. Now, of course, Adobe shares Microsoft Patch Day, and they released updates for Reader and Acrobat. I won't cover the vulnerabilities, but they're pretty typical of Reader vulnerabilities, meaning some of them allow code execution, assuming an attacker can get one of your users to open a malicious PDF document. In any case, if you missed last week's Microsoft and Adobe Patch Day, and you use any of the Windows uh, operating systems or Adobe Reader or Acrobat, I highly recommend you get those patches as soon as possible. That's it for today's news. Thanks for watching.